This is Twit. Hey, before before we go on to WatchOS and Apple TV, do you want to just talk about a little bit Siri shortcuts? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry I left that out because I think that's maybe oh, one yeah. of the most. So this was my supposition. Apple bought Workflow, which was a great uh, third-party app on iOS so about a year ago. Uh, Workthrow was like Automator for iOS, but it's very limited because it's iOS and, and third-party apps don't get access to things like the Wi-Fi signal or whatever. Apple bought it, and I was been waiting for them to kind of incorporate it. I, my guess is these Siri workflows are really workflow, right? It yeah. looks just like it. I mean, the yeah, the the app looks just like it, and many of the features are are uh, similar. And in fact, right now you can create because in the in the beta there is no uh, shortcuts app just yet, but you can create workflows in Workflow and then use them sort ah. of like you know, the shortcuts app exists. Perfect. So, so it's going to be even better because Apple, of course, has access to all the sensors, all the information, all the stuff that third parties don't get access to. So I can imagine. So one of the things she showed is, and by the way, this is the thing people ding Google for, for being creepy. My, my iPhone knows that I have a mint mojito every morning on my way to work. <laughs> so suddenly Siri pops up saying, hey, we, you usually get a mint mojito at Phil's on the way to work. Would you like me to do that for you? <laughs> That's creepy, but it's hideously useful. And I always thought it was useful with Google. So I'm glad to see Apple kind of giving in on all of this. Yeah, I, I yeah. So with that, it's interesting. Like the way that a lot of people think of Siri, what what Apple thinks of Siri, they think that it's just that voice that you talk to that can then give you the wrong answers back all the time. Say <laughs> yes, can't find answer. Yes. But uh, along with doing that, it also is how they sort of clump in all of their smart and machine learning and all that jazz kind of features where uh, Siri can find contacts for you in your mail and then suggest that you add them to your your contacts app. And yes, also things like calling your grandma whenever it's her birthday. So I see that it's in your calendar. If you tap this button, it'll automatically call. You can make that call. And things like automatically connecting uh, whenever it automatically connects to the Bluetooth in your car, then it will suggest that you want to open the podcast app because maybe that's what you always listen to whenever you're in the car. So that's so Siri suggestions. And then, Correct. and then there's also this kind of workflow stuff you can add your own. And this actually also looks a little like if this, then that, right? I mean, it's kind of that kind of. Mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. I'm, I'm wondering, uh, uh, I'm I'm curious as to how much discussion there might have been about if this then that integration, or if if this then that will have the ability as developers to uh, give their app hooks into this feature. I would uh, hope because so. I like the if I this then that app. Yeah, because remember that if this then that is multi-platform, multi-device. Right. You can have an action that just works everywhere. It's an action that it's a system that will basically whatever what you have. No matter how you want it to interact with every other service or piece of hardware you have from like light bulbs all the way to uh, tracking chips all the way to like Google Docs spreadsheets, you can make a solution with if this and that and that. Um, I know that this is the we're only seeing the not even the first version of this for for Apple, but um, it was it, it comes across to me as a really, really cool and useful feature, but kind of limited. You're still limited to what developers want to expose to this feature and also what Apple wants to expose to developers. So if it, I don't, I would hate for it to turn into like another version of Automator where without Apple's continue, it's continued uh, emphasis on how cool and how useful this is, people will just for, might just forget that it exists and just never even really use it. But they, and also Andy, they didn't they talk about Siri being able to integrate with apps too, that you could enhance. And this is something that really finally, because Siri has been kind of dopey. If, if app developers put the hooks in for Siri integration, they can make Siri smarter just by putting that out. You can make it smarter by just putting that app on your phone. Or, yes, at, that's least correct. Give, or at least give extra functionality. To, right. I, would, I, I don't know if making Siri smarter is... Well, as the, an example, when, I, when Siri came out before Apple bought it, it worked with OpenTable. You could make reservations. So presumably OpenTable could add that to their app and then Siri would be able, to, once again, to make reservations through OpenTable. Well, that's a yeah, that's that, a different that should that should have already been. I think that that was already a Siri intent, as they're called, um, because there are other apps that can do 
uh, reservations already. So that that existed, I think, of, as of iOS 10, because there was ride sharing, there was payment apps, there was uh, restaurant reservations, and a couple others. And the new Siri intents that were added as of iOS 12, um, those are the one. Now it's a little bit more open and a little bit more the the intents aren't as specific. So it's not like you can only use a, a pay app or you can only use a voice over IP app or these different things. Now it gets a little bit easier for developers to open up uh, their, it, it's sort of like, uh, they, they have a name for it, but open up their apps to hook in with Siri and then you'll get a little uh, prompt inside of the app that you can tap on and then it connects it with Siri. But yes, the I, I could see if this and that doing that because there are uh, plenty of possibilities in these apps to just say, okay, I want this particular thing to be able to connect with Siri so that all I have to do is say this phrase and then Siri will do it. And I think in that sense, it may not make Siri smarter, but it makes Siri more useful. Right. More, more customizable, more tailorable. Um, it's, it's, I, I, I can't wait to play with this hands on because there's, it seemed to me during the demos and what I've uh, read afterward that there are there are a lot of ways this could go very very wrong. Uh, I don't think anybody <laughs> would want. No, seriously, I don't. I don't think anybody would want their phone to like every time they wake up. Hi, do you know that it's your cousin Myra's birthday? Do you yeah. do, you, do you want to send her That's a birthday what Cortana email? Does. Oh, and by, yeah. And by the way, this is usually the time that you check the you check the ventilation ducts and the heating system. <laughs> also, isn't it time for your car to have an oil change? And it's Tuesday, but do you want to do you want to, to, to find out traffic reports for that coffee place you should go to? It's like, please just let me go back to sleep now. <laughs> um, and I, I, so I, I, there's a there's I, I really did. It was such a good keynote. I really did spend I, as the kind of keynote I like in which it gives me a lot to think about. And one of the things I was thinking about, particularly about uh, this particular thing, was what I wonder what the better solution is to give the user that level of control where they can define, they can take these building blocks and basically build this workflow themselves and make sure that it works for them. Or is it better to have something the way that uh, the Google Assistant is trying to do it, which is just being able to say, like, you know, hey, Guillermo, uh, turn off all the lights, uh, turn on the, the fan blower and order me a coffee. I'm leaving the house and going to work. And basically, not, instead of having to actually write a list of instructions, be able to just simply say, "Here's what I want you to do," and then eventually, this uh, an assistant saying, "Do you want to do, do? Are you leaving the house? Do you want me to do what you, what you did yesterday?" It's uh, it's an interesting way. I think I think control is underappreciated. Uh, I think that a lot of people, developers included, they like the flashiness of, "Hey, look how automated this is." When you can make a better, better solution if you just let people build the, themselves and take responsibility for fixing things that aren't going quite quite correctly. But interesting.